Now the last step which is remaining is to design a members. Select 3D sketch, select line and go on connecting all the points of our chassis. So hello guys and welcome back to our channel Simple Random Knowledge. So guys two months before I have made a video on designing of FSC race car chassis. That video was too short because I have given a brief information about 3D sketching. After that video I have got many responses that I should make a detailed video on 3D sketching of FSC race car chassis. So guys before going towards our video there are 77% of people who are watching my videos but they haven't subscribed to my channel. So I genuinely request you all guys that please do subscribe to my channel because it really motivates me to make such kind of videos for you guys. One more thing if you have not watched my previous video of designing of FPC race car chassis then I will post a link in description as well as in i button. So guys without wasting any more time let's start with today's video. So guys we will be dividing this video in some easy steps. So that it will be easier for you to understand this video. First step we are going to design suspension geometry. So guys this suspension geometry we get from suspension subsystem. So just we are going to replicate that geometry into our model. So we start with our suspension geometry. Go to sketch you can see the arrow below it. Click on that arrow you will get an option of 3D sketch. One thing you should understand that the whole design of our chassis is based on 3D sketch. So make sure that you are well versed with the 3D sketching in SOLIDWORKS. So here you can see the origin. We will be using this origin as a reference throughout our designing because it becomes easier for assembling all the parts with respect to origin. So first we take a line. So guys you can see the pencil and below that there is written as YZ. So guys while using 3D sketch make sure which plane you are using as a reference. In this case I am using YZ plane. So I will start my line some distance forward from origin. You will come to know the reason why I am giving this offset from the origin. So first I will complete my sketch and then I will start giving the dimensions. Now first make sure that this line is coincident with this origin and make it as coincident. Click on OK. So guys you can see that the color of line is changed to black. Now go to smart dimension, select this point and this origin and I will give the offset distance as 100 mm and total distance of this line which will be my wheelbase. I am keeping this wheelbase as minimum as possible. As per the rule the wheelbase should be 1525 mm minimum. So I am keeping as 1525 mm. Now I will give the height of this line as 150. So I am using the random dimensions throughout my chassis. So please don't try to copy this same dimensions for your chassis. I will select this line and this line and give the relation as equal. Now I am changing the view of this line. You can change the view using arrow keys or using your mouse. Now go to midpoint line and check the plane in which you are drawing. In this case I need to draw in XY plane. So click on tab key. So here you can see the planes are changing. Now I want XY plane. Now click on this point and draw line. Same thing I will follow at the back side. Now I will select this line and this line and give the relation as equal and along X. So that will make sure that my lines are along X axis. Then click on OK. Now go to smart dimension and give the length of this line as 400. Click on OK. Now go to line. Check the plane once again and draw the geometry of your suspension box. Same thing you draw at the back side. Now give the relations. Select this line and this line. Give the relation as parallel and along X. Click on OK. Select this line. Press Ctrl key and select this line and give the relation as parallel and along X. Select all the four lines by pressing Ctrl key and give the relation as equal and click on OK. Now search for the center of this line. Click on that center and click on this point and give the relation as along Y. Click on OK. 
now do the same thing search for the center of this line press on that center and select this center and give the relation as long y click on ok now give the dimensions to this line as 500 and the distance between these two lines as 150 so here you can see my sketch got converted into black color which means that my sketch is fully defined now exit this sketch and this way we have completed with the suspension geometry of our chassis now we move to the step 2 which is designing a suspension box around this suspension geometry now again go to the 3d sketch select midpoint line check the plane in which you are drawing now in this case i need to draw in yz plane so press tab key and now start drawing again go to the midpoint line and draw the same line along this point follow this procedure at all the corners of your suspension geometry same thing follow at back side now here you can see the prompt that my document is not saved from last 20 minutes so please save your documents whenever possible now here you can see i have completed drawing line now what is the purpose of this line i will tell you first select all the lines by pressing ctrl key and give the relation as equal and along that axis and click on ok now go to smart dimensions and give the length of this line as 200 mm and then click on ok now again go to the line and complete this sketch follow the same procedure at the back so guys this way we have completed with the suspension box exit the sketch now here you can see we have got our hard points for our chassis so we have completed with the step 2 that is designing a suspension box now we move to the designing Percy so as you guys must be knowing that designing a Percy is the next important step for your chassis for this case I will select all the base dimensions of our Percy which are mentioned in the rule book so select right plane and sketch change the view to side view now draw three circles now go to smart dimension and give the diameter of this circle as 300 and diameter of this circle as 200 and select this circle and press ctrl key select this circle and give the relation as equal click on ok now connect all the three circles now define this Percy using more dimensions all these are the basic base dimensions which are given in our rule book I am drawing a vertical line from this point so that I can give the seat angle I am keeping a seat angle as 40 now move this Percy towards our cockpit give the offset distance from the ground to this Percy as 150 and offset to this line as 30 because minimum ground clearance should be 30 as per the rule now I will give a distance of this point from my suspension geometry so select this point and this point and give the distance as 900 so guys you can see this part of Percy is converted into black color just this line is in blue color to define this line select this line and this point and give the height as 130 now I will draw construction line from this point up to this point this is the point where my front bulkhead should be there I am keeping the distance randomly you better calculate it as per your assembly of brake pedals again put to the center line and draw vertical line from this point and draw the sketch as I am drawing right now so this will be my main hoop height 
and this will be my front hoop height. To confirm this height of main hoop and front hoop, there is one 65 mm rule. Select this line and this line and give the relation as parallel. Click on OK. Now go to the smart dimension and give the distance as 65. So guys, if you want to brush up your rules, check my video on explanation of FSA rules for chassis. I will post a link in description as well as in i button. Now this way we have completed with the design of our Percy. Now exit this sketch. Now in next step we are going to insert some references using reference geometry. Select plane. As I have explained in my previous video, we require total 4 number of planes while designing chassis. But in this case, I will use only 3 planes. Why? I will explain you. Now select your first reference as the front plane and second reference as this point and then click on ok send this plane this will be useful while designing our front wall kit now second plane we will be using for main hoop so again go to the reference plane and select the first reference as the front and your point will be this point and then click on ok so here we created one more plane now third plane we will be using while designing our rearable kit go to reference geometry select plane select your first reference as the default front plane and second reference any point at the rear click on ok now the fourth plane is on this front hoop which will be useful while designing this front hoop but in my case as you must be knowing while giving the dimension to this wheel waist I have kept some offset distance from the origin that offset distance is clearly matching with my this point so you can see so that was the reason of keeping the offset from the origin now select the front plane and select catch select line and design your front hoop now search for the center of this line click on that center and select this point and give the relation as coincident click on ok now we require to give some fillet so select this sketch fillet option select these two lines and give the radius as 50 mm do the same thing click on ok so this way we have completed our designing of our front two now exit this sketch select plane number two and select sketch select midpoint line Draw the line from this point and draw the outer sketch of your main hoop. Now give some relations. Select this line and this line. Give the relation as equal. Click on OK. Select this line and this line. Give the relation as equal. Click on OK. Now we require to give some fillet. So select this line. Click on OK. And increase this fillet radius to 100 click on ok now select the midpoint of this point and select this point and give the relation as coincident click on ok now select center line now give the dimension to this line as 600 and this line as 550 now give the sketch fillet at this point also Find the center of this line and select this line and give the relation as coincident. Click on OK. So this way we have completed with our main hoop. Now select the plane number 3 and select the sketch. Select line and draw your rebel kit. Now select the sketch fillet and give the fillet at this point and at this point also click on OK and give the height as 300 click on ok exit this sketch now select plane number one and select the sketch select line as midpoint line and draw your front bulk kit and one diagonal bracing now give the relation to these two lines as equal click on ok and these two lines as equal click on ok select this point 
and this corner give the deletion as much click on okay now select the smart dimensions and give the length as 400 and height as 350 click on okay now exit this sketch now hide this planes because we don't require it right now now hide your suspension geometry also and hide your policy also now the last step which is remaining is to design a members or we called as a braces for our chassis so for that select 3d sketch select line and go on connecting all the points of our chassis now in this case i am randomly selecting all the points follow the same thing the opposite side Now we draw our front to bracing. Uh, if you don't know the names of these pipes, I have explained in my video of FSA rules. Please go and watch that video. You will get a link in our description. Now uh, you can use your ideas for designing this member. Now in this case, you can see these members are in blue color because we have not specified distance from the top of our front roof so go to the smart dimension select this top and select this point and give the distance as 30 mm click on ok now select this point and select this point by pressing ctrl key and give the relation as along x click on ok now here you can see these two lines are also in blue color because we have not specified the distance from the top of our menu so select smart dimension Select this line and select the midpoint of this sketch fillet and give the distance as 130. Click on OK. Select this and select this line and give the relation as equal. Click on OK. So here you can see our sketch is converted into black color. Now I will draw some more lines over our side impact structure. Now we have designed sufficient number of members. Now exit this sketch. So guys, this way we have completed with our 3D sketching of FSE race car chassis. I hope that you have liked this video. As I said, please subscribe to my channel because subscription is the only thing through which I will come to know that my videos are helping to you in some or other way. So that is my genuine request to you all guys. And if you have liked this video, please share this video among your friends. And if you have not watched my playlist of FSE race car chassis design, then I will post a link in description as well as in i button. Please go and watch that videos also. And until our next video, stay safe and happy learning.